Ahoy there, matey! Captain Foggy from Mind Sculpting MTG, and it's time to shuffle and cut with a fresh build. This is Mono Red Pirate Cynic Swan Standard. Arr! Before we get started, smash that like button. Also, subscribe or I'll make you walk the plank. Alright, alright, enough of the nonsense. Let's talk about the deck already. Mono Red Pirates is a high sailing aggressive tribal deck designed to brave the roughest of waters. We hit hard and fast to pillage and plunder our opponent's life total. So how about we meet the crew and captain? We're playing 22 creatures in total. We're playing 4 Bomat Courier and 4 Rigging Runner. These are going to make up our early game plays. Typically speaking, you want to start off with a Bomat Courier on turn 1, swing with it on turn 2, and then drop the Rigging Runner so you get that plus 1 plus 1 from the rate effect. However, it is acceptable to go ahead and play that Rigging Runner on turn 1. A 1-1 one, one for 1 with first strike is pretty awesome already. Moving on, we're playing 3 copies of Kari Zev, Skyship Raider, and 4 Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Kari Zev is amazing all on her own, but being a pirate also just had to be an auto-include in this deck. Not only do you get a 1-3 body with First Strike and Menace, you also get a 2-1 monkey token that swings in every single time you attack with her. Fathom Fleet Firebrand is awesome as well because you get a 2-2 body for 2, and plus you can also sink some mana into it to pump up the power. That's the crew, but who are the captains of this ship? We're playing 4 copies of Dire Fleet Captain and 3 Captain Lannery Storm. Now I know I said this is a mono red deck, but a little black splash doesn't hurt. Whenever Dire Fleet Captain swings in, it also gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other attacking pirate. And considering most of our creatures are pirates with the exception of Bomac Courier, he's always going to get a buff unless he's swinging by himself. Captain Lannery Storm can swing in on the turn that we play her because she has haste, plus also when she attacks, you get a treasure token. Our buried treasure. Also, whenever you sacrifice a treasure, she gets plus one plus zero, so that can be very handy during combat. Now that we've met the crew, let's check out this ship's firepower. We're playing four copies of Shock and four copies of Lightning Strike. Both these cards are great for removal, but in a pinch, they can also help close out a game. Need I also mention how fun it is to sacrifice a treasure and then cast a Shock at an opposing creature? Captain Lannery Storm then gets the buff and then you also get an opposing blocker out of the way. To finish off a removal suite, we're also playing two copies of Cut to Ribbons and two Fiery Cannonade. I feel like Cut to Ribbons is almost a must have in any kind of red deck. Glorybringer is running amok and we need some way to deal with it. On the flip side of things, it's also great to help close out our games when we're at the end of our journey. Fiery Cannonade on the other hand is just amazing in this deck. At instant speed, you can deal 2 damage to all creatures as long as they're not a pirate. Sure, Bomat Courier might be swept away in the process, but you can always pay that 1 red mana to sack it and gain that card advantage. Need I also mention that tokens are running amok everywhere? This card is just an all-star in this deck. This strategy is great at swabbing the deck and keeping the board clear, but we have a few other tricks up our sleeve. We're also playing 3 Invigorated Rampage and 1 Key to the City. Invigorated Rampage is great because it keeps the combat math very tricky for our opponent. Plus, when we have a huge Dire Fleet Captain and they only want to chump block it, we can give it Trample at the last minute so we can still get in that damage. Also, the key to the city is great to keep him from being blocked in the first place. Plus, it can help us generate more card advantage during our upkeep. Alright, you land lovers, let's check out the mana base so we can keep this ship sailing along. We're playing 4 copies of Dragon Skull Summit, 3 Canyon Slow, and 4 Unclaimed Territory. We don't need black mana that often, so it's perfectly acceptable just to cycle away a canyon slow whenever you need to draw an extra card. Plus, Unclaimed Territory helps out with that mana fixing too if we need to cast a Dire Fleet Captain. For our basic lands, we're playing 9 Mountain and 2 Swamp. That brings our land count to 22 in total. Now let's talk sideboard. Always keep in mind that your 15 card sideboard should depend on what your local meta looks like, but this is what I got for you. Against Control, we're playing 4 copies of Duress, 1 Sentinel Totem, and 3 copies of Abraid. Duress is great to help get any kind of removal spells or counter spells out of our opponent's hand. Sentinel Totem is great against God Pharaoh's Gift and any other graveyard shenanigans. While Abraid can come in as extra removal and also take out any opposing Torrential Gear Hulks or other God Pharaoh's Gifts as well. Need I mention that Monument decks are back on the rise? Against Aggro, we're playing 4 copies of Magma Spray, 2 Chandra's Defeat, and an extra copy of Fiery Cannonade. Magma Spray is great against any deck running Earthshaker Kenra or Scrap Heap Scrounger. In case you haven't noticed, Mardu Vehicles is making a big comeback as well. Chandra's Defeat comes in against any team or energy build to take out any opposing Glorybringers. Also, Chandra Torch's Defiance is a big problem as well for us. And the extra Fiery Cannonade is great against token strategies like Abzan Tokens or Oketra's Monument. Not to mention, it also helps us out against Remunap Red. 
That's all for today. Let me know what you think about the deck in the comments section. Would you prefer to play more black creatures like Kite Cell Freebooter, or maybe you just can't wait to take this deck for a spin at your local Friday Night Magic? I would love to hear your feedback. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss anything from Mind Sculpting MTG. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upkeep. About to drop a couple of f bombs on you. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Firebrand. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Say that 20 million times fast. Ugh. All right, you land lovers, let's check out the mana base so we can see how this ship keeps us sailing along. Nah, that's not right either.